New Hampshire schools had to quickly adapt when the decision to switch to remote learning came down in March, trying to get ahead of issues like food insecurity and making sure students have computers and internet access. Now that they won't be going back this school year, a new round of challenges, from how to return belongings left there to if and how to have graduations and proms. We've got some kids that are going to miss some rites of passage unless we figure something out. School leaders point to a mix of logistical issues and emotional tolls, including on families working from home while managing the learning of their children. Well, I get concerned about the stress on the family that that might cause. Um, and related to that is a lot of my teachers are in the same position. I think that teachers and, and uh, our faculty and staff members are all social um, beings. We're used to being around hundreds of students per day. So to be isolated in their homes has been very, very difficult. If you were to ask me what's the biggest challenge going forward, it's, in a word, stamina. They say even the best efforts can't make up for the richness of the classroom. Addressing learning loss, difficult without knowing when it will end. Thinking about what do we need to plan for into the summer and what do we need to plan for in the startup of school next year. What is also consistent among administrators, though, is their praise for how well families and students and staff have stepped up to these challenges. They're all working on their calendars right now. Most will be done by early June. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.